based on actual events as recorded in the Book of Mormon, another testament of Jesus Christ. Zeezrom, thou hast not lied unto men only, but thou hast lied unto God. He knows all thy thoughts, and they are made known unto us by his Spirit. We know that thy plan was to deceive this people, that thou might set them against us, to revile us, and to cast us out. Now what I say unto you, I say unto all. This was a snare of the adversary, that he might bring you into subjection unto him, that he might encircle you with his chains to everlasting destruction. What does this mean, that all men shall rise from the dead, to stand before God to be judged according to their works? It is given unto many to know the mysteries of God according to the heed and diligence which they give unto him. But if they have hardened their hearts, to them is given the lesser portion of the word until they know nothing concerning his mysteries. And then they are taken captive by the devil and led by his will down to destruction. And this is what is meant by the chains of hell. And if we have hardened our hearts against the word insomuch that has not been found in us, then will our state be awful, for then we shall be condemned. There was a space granted unto man in which he might repent. And this life became a probationary state, a time to prepare to meet God, a time to prepare for that endless state which has been spoken of by us, which is after the resurrection of the dead. Now, if it had not been for the plan of redemption, which was laid from the foundation of the world, there could have been no resurrection of the dead. But there was a plan of redemption laid, which shall bring to pass the resurrection of which has been spoken. God gave unto men commandments, after having made known unto them the plan of redemption, that they should not do evil. And he has said, if you will repent and harden not your hearts, then will I have mercy upon you through mine only begotten Son. Therefore, whosoever repenteth and hardeneth not his heart, he shall have claim upon mercy through mine only begotten Son unto a remission of his sins, and these shall enter into my rest. I would that you would humble yourselves before God and bring forth fruit meet for repentance, that ye may also enter into that rest. Now is the time to repent, for the day of salvation draweth nigh, and I wish from the inmost part of my heart that you would hearken unto my words and cast off your sins and not procrastinate the day of your repentance, but that you would humble yourselves before the Lord and call on his holy name and watch and pray continually that you may not be tempted above that which he can bear and thus be led by his Holy Spirit, becoming humble, meek, submissive, patient, full of love, and all long-suffering, having faith on the Lord, having a hope that you shall receive eternal life, having the love of God always in your hearts that you may be lifted up at the last day and enter into his rest. <laughs>